गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू क्लासेस ऑन एग्रीकल्चरल इकोनॉमिक्स माय सेल्फ विक्रम कोरडे असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर ऑफ एग्रीकल्चरल इकोनॉमिक्स के के ऑफ कॉलेज ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर नासिक टुडे वी विल बी डीलिंग विद मीनिंग ऑफ प्रोड्यूसर सरप्लस एंड टाइप्स ऑफ प्रोड्यूसर सरप्लस सो नाउ लेट अस फोकस ऑन प्रोड्यूसर सरप्लस द प्रोड्यूसर सरप्लस इज द क्वांटिटी ऑफ प्रोड्यूस व्हिच इज or can be made available by the farmers to the non farm population means it is a quantity made available by the farmers to the non farm population it is called as producer surplus there are two types of producer surplus first one is marketable surplus and second is marketed surplus now let us focus on marketable surplus it is a residual left with the producer farmer after meeting his requirements for family consumption farm needs for seeds feeds for cattle payment to labor in kind payments to artisans payment to landlord as a rent social and religious payments in kind means marketable surplus means total production minus family consumption and other needs means marketable surplus means it is a residual left with the producer farmer after meeting his total requirements this may be expressed as follows ms is equal to p minus c where ms is the marketable surplus p is the total production and c is the total requirements that is family consumption farm need payment to labor artisans landlord and payments for a social and religious work suppose farmer produces 1000 quintal of rice and his consumption requirement is 100 quintal then a marketable surplus is 1000 minus 100 that is 900 quintal it is a marketable surplus and marketable surplus is the theoretical concepts second is the marketed surplus so marketed surplus is that quantity of produce which the producer farmer actually sells in the market irrespective of his requirements for family consumption farm needs and other payments means marketed surplus means whatever quantity actually sells in the market suppose farmer sells 19 quintal uh, in market then uh, marketed surplus is 19 quintal because he actually sells in the market is 19 quintal then third point is relationship between marketed surplus and marketable surplus the marketed surplus may be more less or equal to the marketable surplus it depends upon condition of the farmer and type of the crop the first let's see first condition when marketed surplus is greater than or more than marketable surplus so when the farmer retains a smaller quantity of the crop than his actual requirements for family and farm needs means he actually sells in the market is more it is called as this uh, the, uh, this is uh, this condition is hold good in in condition of distressed sales or forced sales this is true for small and marginal farmers second condition is marketed surplus is a less than marketable surplus the marketed surplus is less than the marketable surplus when farmer retain some of the surplus produce uh, some some of the surplus pro, uh, produce uh, or holds it is in this way in this condition is hold or uh, in the case of substitutes Uh, suppose farmer may substitute one crop for another crop either for uh, uh, farming con- family consumption or uh, re- ready uh, or feeding for their livestock uh, in that case marketed surplus is a less than marketable surplus so marketed surplus is a less than marketable surplus this true for large farmers because generally they sell less than the marketable surplus because of their better retention capacity and when large farmer substitute the crop either for his uh, family consumption 
or either for his feeding of livestock uh, in that case marketed surplus is less than marketable surplus third condition is marketed surplus is equal to the marketable surplus so when the farmer retains neither more nor less than his requirements that times marketed surplus is equal to marketable surplus generally this condition is found in in case of perishable commodities and for the average farmer then uh, see the factors affecting marketable surplus first is the size of holding size of holding having a positive relationship with marketable surplus means size of holding is more then marketable surplus is also more second production is having positive relationship with the marketable surplus if production is more automatically marketable surplus is more price of the commodity the having positive as well as negative relationship with marketable surplus it depends upon whether one consider the short run and long run or the micro and macro levels fourth point is size of the family having negative relationship with marketable surplus then requirement of seed and feed requirement of seed and feed having a negative relationship with the marketable surplus sixth factor is the nature of commodity the marketable surplus of non food crops is generally higher than the food crops uh suppose cotton is not consumed by family member so in that case marketable surplus is uh, more as compared to uh, food crops uh, and last point is consumption habits the quantity of output retained by the farm family depends on the consumption habits for example in punjab rice forms a relatively small proportion of total cereals consumed by farm families compared to those in southern or eastern states uh, in this way in this chapter we can see what do we mean by producer surplus types of producer surplus that is marketable surplus and marketed surplus relationship between marketable and marketed surplus and factors affecting marketable surplus thank you thank you very much